I do heavily relate to Pineup Bot Strife Hayes. Yes, if you've seen the Sapuga video on the OSRS chat GPT bots, I have not. Thoughts on an in-universe method of telling someone where there's a bot, like a reveal tulpa spell. Oh no, I used to actually have this. So I used to be a player moderator back in the day. I was uh, I was a P-mod, if you will, with one of the silver crowns. And what that meant was my chat would still be visible to people even if they had chat off. You have to specifically ignore a P-mod in order to have their chat blocked from you. So what I would do is I would walk in, into the green dragons that were heavily, heavily botted, uh, and I would type out loud, you are horribly burnt by the dragon fire. And many people would just immediately teleport away before they've even been able to do that. And that was simply because what the, the script they were running was effectively looking for was, you know, our, our specific text commands there. So yeah, by saying you are horribly burnt by the dragon fire, they, uh, they would uh, teleport away, which I thought was great. Okay, cool. We've got the thing now. Now we go upstairs and this thing just here. Cool. P-Mod. Yes, that's what it was. Uh, what else? I also had a RuneFest flagstaff of festivities. I still have this in RuneScape 3. One of the, the rarest items in the game, in fact. And if you... You can stick a flagstaff in the floor, which tells everyone that you went to the very first RuneFest ever. And the flagstaff can't be removed except by you. So if you have bots that click on very specific places of the screen, even if they're taught to ignore certain items, if you stick the flagstaff down and they click on it, they will open a window on their screen which gets caught into a loop. So you can use the flagstaff of festivities extremely easily to cause uh, many, many loops. 